How to create an adversary flow in Clavio. Hi, this is Andrew, the founder of Flow Email Marketing Agency, as well as this YouTube channel. If you're first time on this channel, I strongly recommend to subscribe since we're releasing this kind of video every Tuesday and Thursday, and there's a lot of to learn so stay tuned okay so there's a lot of talks about anniversary flow to congratulate let's say your customer one year from now because they become your customer let's say today and one year from now is like kind of like happy birthday or happy anniversary being our valued customer so how to do it before we continue with the video i have a short announcement to make we are growing and we have a few spots available for new clients and i would like to tell you about our partner program give thousand dollars get thousand dollars how does it work if you know anybody in your network who are e-commerce brand online retailers please refer them to us and if they sign up with us you will get thousand dollars and they will get thousand dollar discount toward their credit or if you are e-commerce brand and you would like to work with us we will give you two thousand dollars towards your first month of the retainer just visit flowing.com slash partner and see the details of a partner program and we have a template there email template which you can send it to your friend or somebody you know in e-commerce space. So first let's go to Clavio. So this is how it will do it. So we create flow from scratch, new purchase. Let's do this, dust. Okay, so we have it. Select flow trigger now. So we do metrics and let's do placed order trigger filter. Oops, my bad, not filter, but flow fair filter. Uh, placed order Shopify at least equals on overall time or yes so anybody who will join this flow first time then before we start setting up any emails we do update profile and we do create new one and let's say first purchase date you put date and you do use current date when step is reached so basically what will happen when they place an order the date stamp will be added here and if you want you can even add a delay maybe like 12 hours or so just to make sure they don't cancel the order but it's up to you so you add this and then you will create based on this profile again it's not available yet unfortunately let's do Let's find my profile if if we have it. Uh, Andre, yeah, I have it here. Okay, so let's do custom profile. And today is what? Oh, 6, 25, 2021. Add property, okay, cool. So there's two ways. So first way you can trigger by a segment or second way you can trigger by date. So let's do probably easier to do it by date create t uh, test anniversary create a flow and do date property and let's do first purchase day first purchase day yeah and should repeat yearly for example and that's it so every year it will be repeated and you will send specific uh, congratulation email or whatever you want to send it so this is how you create anniversary email in case you have any additional questions please leave them below under this video and i will be more than glad to answer them thank you